My name is Justin Ryan. I am a graduate research associate with ASU. Here at PCH, I'm working in collaboration with the Heart Center to do uh, 3D printing of heart models. So patient comes in with some type of, of anomaly and they're going to have surgery on them. Doctors want as much information as they can possibly get. And right now we get CT scans, which are kind of like slice data. Doctors see those two-dimensional images, but don't get the same reference that a 3D object would give you. So we can take those two-dimensional images and recreate a 3D model. So this is very similar to an inkjet technology. Instead of paper, we have gypsum powder. So that layer that's about a tenth of a millimeter thick gets laid out, and then it goes back over with print heads that is filled with superglue and ink. And that provides not only the binding agent that hardens that powder, but also the color that you see on the, uh, the heart models. So layer by layer by layer, it's building up this three-dimensional model. Well, for the average heart, for say a, a one-year-old, you're looking at about three hours to build that actual heart uh, in the printer. And then from there, we do a little bit of post-processing, but another hour after that, we can hand it off to the doctor. Each of these derived from actual patient data. So it has the same complexity in 3D form that you would see in an actual patient's heart, and they can view it and make their decisions for the surgery. I'm John Nigro, and I'm the um, director of cardiothoracic surgery and co-director of the Heart Center here at Phoenix Children's Hospital. We do all ranges of heart surgeries here, ranging from um, repairs for babies who are just born all the way to heart transplantation and ventricular assist devices, which are, in essence, artificial hearts to help support the heart function. Uh, they're very complicated operations, and they involve us operating on very small structures and so when we have these models, which are three-dimensional, they really allow us to plan the surgery, really evaluate the uh, challenges that we're up against, and actually help us understand what's there before we go into surgery. I'm Daniel Velez. I'm one of the congenital heart surgeons here at uh, Phoenix Children's Hospital. I think this is great technology. The analogy that I would present to you is, you know, do you want to travel, uh, take a trip using a paper map versus a GPS? And before, we had to, in our brains, make that transition to a three-dimensional structure. And then with our hands, create those three-dimensional connections. But it, there were also times that it wasn't up until we got there that we figured that we, this can or can't be done. So this is really taking away a lot of that guesswork. I mean, basically, we, we have a good idea of what we're going to encounter. People will also understand why we can't do certain things and, uh, and how far we can reach. So I think the best impact or the highest impact will be on educating students and uh, families and relatives as well.